วัสดีครับ How are you? How are you? The next one is going to be is called p a t o m c a m p a t o m c a m means fish, you know, the steam fish, you know, same thing, the oily fish with uh, different setting of the uh, ingredient, but the salt is pretty much similar. So you will see the difference, how much you can do with all the salt when you learn the fundamental of it. So you can tweet, you can do whatever you want to do, but you got to know the fundamental because the fundamental will tell you, know, you what to do, set it apart. So if you try to do it without having proper you know, knowledge of doing the dish, then you screw everything up. You got to throw the food away and it doesn't taste good. So that's not what it's for for this, for this for my video. My video I just want you to learn the fundamental of Thai cooking. This is Bangkok food, healthy, delicious Bangkok food. Okay, classical Thai cooking is one of the kinds so that you don't see that much. I do a lot of teaching class in Santa Rosa, you know, area, northern of California, you know, northern of San Francisco, about 60 miles from San Francisco, I teach at uh, Santa Rosa Junior College so it's to do just for fun cooking. So, but I keep all my cards, you got to learn the fundamental every day you go, and then really, really healthy because I do all the spe specific herbs, you know, like a, all kind of herb, not specific herb, all kind of herb and spice, but less spice, but pretty much herb because I want to be on a healthy side. Size. I want to be in a healthy size. And the food is always 100% gluten free. And pretty much, you know, all natural. So if I can find organic, I do organic. But most of the time, in my car, people not even care organic and not organic. But the thing that they care is the to know how to use the ingredient, how to prep them, how to balance the taste, and how to have assistance for me. So because my class format is, I don't think anybody here will have it or they're not capable, I don't know. Because I show them, I give them a lecture on aspect of Thai food to understand what other food it come from, what kind of ingredient, what we're talking about, what part of the food, regional food, that kind of thing, how we do that. And then I'll t go into the ingredient and then go to in medicinal, choice the ingredient, the thing you have to be aware of, what it you like or you don't like, because the Westerner and the Thai taste and Westerner taste is totally different. Because the Thai taste is more, they can tolerate a lot of stinky, spicy, but the Western people, they can't. So my Bangkok food is mild, that is pretty much healthy, delicious Bangkok food. It suits pretty well for the Western. That's why wherever we go, you, you people recognize, recognize this is this kind of dish. This is what we're talking about. Not just somebody put everything in there, throw in there, or something stinky, fishy, and, and you don't eat it. If you go to my restaurant, you will, you don't see that. But uh, too bad, I don't have it anymore. But we'll coming back, but we'll see how it go after the COVID went. So then we will do something different. So, but I still do teaching classes, and now I try to do the uh, the Zoom cooking class. So we'll see how it go because. I can see it, but I, I can smell it, I can taste it, but now I cannot, if I do the cooking class, we assume I cannot smell it, but I can see it, but I rely on step and sequence and how I put it to you and specific amount of what you support to put it in there and how much your ingredients in. And then I can be able to assign, I mean assistant when you do. I do the demo in, uh, you know, on the, like a cooking show, 
for you and explain everything to you. Then you do the class, which is you can do buy your own ingredient and we send you information about the ingredients and what to buy and you don't find it, I will assist you to where to get it. And this is, you can be anywhere in the world, I don't care. But as long as you understand the step and sequential and you sign in. But more than the first three classes, I will give it, you know, uh, you don't have to pay because all you have to do is sign in and just to learn. And all I want to ask it from you, spread the word that what it is and how to do it because it, this is healthy, delicious Bangkok food. It's a lot of medicinal that they use to fight a lot of, you know, health problem because Thai is is it's classical Thai cooking is preventing for health by preventing nurturing and rehabilitating preventing nursing and rehabilitation is not curing no kind of thing that people have misconception on that this is Thai food, that's why Thai people don't go to the rest, to the hospital that much. They don't have all those kind of really weird problems like the Western people. They have this, they have that. Because of the food intake that you put, Thai food is medicinal based because derived from the, you know, the, the doctor, the, the barefoot doctor, the one who, because at the old time you don't have the IV, you don't have all these kind of pills. Everything you do, you got to eat in order to heal to rejuvenate you, all this kind of thing. It, it prevention is the best, especially for classical Thai cooking, Bangkok food, okay? Today we're going to talk about this, this, it platum can eat uh, oily fish, you know, it, with uh, soy sauce, but it a lot of herb in Thai medicinal big eat. This is Thai, it, this is classical, it has to have the herb in there. So. Let's see what are the ingredients we're going to have. Okay, here it is. First thing you got to have the fish, right? The same thing today. This is a, the last bit I did opa. This is the same opa. I bought a whole flank of that. And that is the oily fish. It really good on that. This kind of thing. So you see that the fish? Okay. You see, this is really good fish. So, this is, this is not the bad. This is almost in the center part of the fish. So, you see the meat is laid, look like a really wonderful, you know, fish, like pork rice, chicken rice. It's really mine. This is oily fish. So what I do, I scroll it like it this way, and on the back, I scroll it this way. The last bit, I scroll this side. So I still have some fat in there, it's okay, because this is, the, the, the flavor is very intense anyway. So a little bit of fat is okay, otherwise you don't like fit smell too much, so you just cut this part out, okay? Slightly take it out. Okay, that's the fish. Okay, and then the salt, pretty much the same thing as the last one we did, but slightly different. You got salt, you got, uh, you know, the white soy sauce, you know, light soy sauce, you got oyster sauce, you got fish sauce, okay? Then you have the palm sugar. This time we have more palm sugar, because this and they say it's platum can be mean it, uh, you know, steam, I mean, uh, boiling fish on the, you know, salt, you know. It, it, it translated in English, it's very really difficult because it's the fish boiling in three flavors of the sauce. But they say platum can, can be mean salty, but it really, the sweet comfort, sweet, sour, salty. That's the difference. That's the misconception. We don't know why, when, that way. So anyway, that, uh, that's why we have more palm sugar. This is uh, tamarinds. And now we have pepper, crushed pepper. This is white pepper crush, okay? And here it increases the lemon glass. 
layman God, you have to smash them like that in order to get the oil coming out that what you need. The same with the garlic, you smash them you to get the oil, little oil coming out. Add we have the ginger, so you cut it like like this and you smash them. And then this is the shallot, okay? If you don't have shallot, you can use late onion, but never use yellow onion, you know, white onion, all those things, because it doesn't keep the flavor. This is a totally different flavor, okay? And then you have the galanga that you slice like that. That is another flavor in there. Then you have to roast the chili, okay? Roast the chili that you load with oil that I will show you. You follow my uh, series, you will see one of the, how do I do them and how do I make the, you know, the chili oil sauce just to use for tom yum. You know, if you, if you don't want anything else, except like a trim paste or do different kinds of the, you know, you know, the flavoring for the other dish. So this is the fundamental, you do the Thai chili oil different, okay? And we have a pineapple. Pineapple you put on the bottom. That you got another sweet and sour that is slightly different. And cook that with it, and you have another sour that is from the okay. It's uh, trembling. So, and again the water. And now we can start cooking. Okay. And now here we go. We start with empty pan again. Nothing in there, okay? Now, what we want to do, we want to load the ingredient in first. Okay, the herb, that pineapple. We're going to put two pieces of pineapple in there. Okay? And then we're going to put the lemon glass in there. Okay? Whatever you want to arrange, it's fine by me. Okay, now we're going to do ginger, Keep, add the layer in there, okay, we're going to do shallot, okay, now you can add whatever you want to do, but you make sure the fish doesn't go on the bottom, okay. Now I'm going to add the fish in there. Where my fish? Okay. It usually they cook with the whole fish with skin with all those things like a macro, like all that kind of fish. But since I had this, you know, opera, that oily fish is delicious. Better off. We don't have that in Thailand, but this is California. You can have whatever you want. Okay? And now we're going to put more ginger in there. So everything, all the ingredients, the ginger, galanga, you know, or put all the herb in there. So everything is good. Okay? Chili, dry chili, everything else. So now we got all the herb in there, okay? Now we're going to put all the sauce in there, you know, and then water at the end and then start boiling. Right now, see, I can do that. So I could put, because it's a sweet comfort, we're going to put a lot more sweets in there this time. Because palm sugar is not that sweet because this is all the bad sugar in the whole world because it is natural. It is extract from the sugar, uh, coconut flour or palm flour. You know, the stem, when they start to give the baby, they start blooming. This is from the bloom. They cut the bloom, cut the head off, and extract the juice and collect it. And then they cook it just to get the water out of the system. That's what you get. This is a pure 100% palm sugar. If you see the palm sugar in 
if you see the palm sugar that harden, you know, the harden that what it not pure palm sugar, that they add the sugar cane in there in order to get it hardened. This is never get hardened, it will be this soft like this. Okay? Now I got the soy sauce, white soy sauce, I put it in there. Fish sauce to keep a little more umami taste, which is probably not much. So, salt. So I'm gonna give one pinch, two pinch. Just be careful with the salt because a lot of it is already salty. And then this is this is a uh, oyster sauce. So that to keep the flavor to bring the fish to where that they support to taste light when they add the salt and the flavor in there. Then you got a white pepper that we're gonna put it in there, the crack it white pepper. Okay, and then the palm sugar. Hey, not the palm sugar, this is a tamarind. So you can use your finger to do that, that put the palm and salt in there. So that's what it is. Okay. Now we're going to turn on the heat. Turn on the heat at high. So, and then you're going to add the water in there. So, to make sure that the water golden in there, almost have to be covered with the fish. Because we're going to cook it down a little bit. Because with this, if you cook the whole fish, right? If the whole fish, the water have to be over the fish. But this is because of this fillet. So we're going to put the salt, uh, the, the water is about a little bit, probably a, a quarter of an inch below the fish. Okay, let it cook for a good 10, 15 minutes with the high heat. So, and now we're going to walk away. We come back again. We're going to balancing the tail. This is, we put everything in the approximation because why why we don't give you specific or oh, one tablespoon two tablespoon we just tell you about approximation this is what's supposed to be if you want to because we have the control point the controlling point it means you use your palate to take the test and the controlling point I already tell you what the test supposed to taste like the sweet comfort right and then you got sour and then you got salty that means approximate if you know your ingredient this is the reason i do this because i want you to know your ingredients when you know the ingredient what it tastes like and how much you're going to put in there because every industry every the whole industry the ingredient from every part is different they call the same thing like palm sugar and the palm sugar from this company and that company is different and on top of that, every year, the sugar content is different, you know. Some years sweeter, some years not. Even though the same manufacturing, they can't control it. So then we call palm sugar. That's why you go, okay, palm sugar. Then, then you have to cook, you have to taste it. That's why you have to learn how to balance the taste. If you don't do that, no way you can do the good food out of it. So this is classical Thai cooking. This is how we do them classical Thai cooking balancing the taste know your ingredient learn how to do step and sequential you know simultaneously effects opposites and balance that's a lot more and fundamental in Thai cooking because the classical Thai cooking if you're going to learn Thai food learn how to cook Thai food good to become perfected learn the fundamental of it in my series that I put it in on on YouTube, you can go in there, study it free of charge, and hundred percent educational. You know, it's very good education. I don't see anybody present it that way, but this is because I do a lot of cooking class. A lot of my student is always, oh, we didn't, we missing that. We didn't, we can't take the whole 25-30 minute lecture in your class, we can't remember. 
So I do that for them too. To, yeah, you can come back and take a look at what I'm talking about. Okay? And this is a good education, I promise, because nobody can have it so far. Okay? I do a lot of cooking class. I do teach people to well, okay, do the right thing. Then you don't throw your food away. And then you want to impress your whoever, your wife, your hubby, your children, or whoever it is. You can do that easily without have any problem. Because I saw many people, oh yeah, we put this, we put that, we put that, we put that. And then, now what? What it tastes like? What it smells like? You have to be able to explain it. All my students they walk out from my class you know, four-hour class that when I, I do, they're just happy because they have to do four dishes, fundamental. But every every class that they take is different. Fundamental or four dishes that you have, you have to do soup, you have to do salad, you have to do stir fry, and you have to do the curry. You learn fundamental of it because when you get that basic in you. And then you understand how old oh, that what it for. And then when we, when I open that palace, when I do the first sit, I do, you know, explain it to them what we put in there, how we do it, and then detecting the taste. This is how it simultaneously affects what it look like. One of them they get it, they have no problem. Okay, that they. Always the comment is that the best thing they did the right decision to come to the class because it, you learn the fundamental. When you got that, then you can tweet it because a lot of good, you know, cook people that they know how to cook and then they come to my class and say, oh, wow, blew them away and then they perfect it a lot more and then they can implant there wife, the husband, the children, or whoever the friend is. So that what you want it to be, you say, wow, not just, huh? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Those kind of thing. No, if you, you're cooking food, you have to look like food, and taste like food, smell like food. Not just, oh, what the crap is that? <laughs> what it did you put in there? <laughs> can you explain? Those kind of things. My students can explain. When they walk out after four it smile and happy, take their food home. That what they cook, I don't cook for them. Because I cook for make them taste the food to what it tastes like. Because I do the demo, they taste the food. Then they go to their group and then I give them the ingredient. They have to duplicate the same thing in the group. And everybody learn the same thing in one class and then you have to do it and then they go around assist it. And they if they over chart the runway, you know, oh has the jumping tail that beat had that problem, I collect it for them. So they see it, smell it, taste it. But now this my challenge you know, I'm gonna do, you know, the the cooking here is called the the, the zoom cooking. I cannot smell it because I don't know where you come from, somewhere else in the world. I can't smell it, you know, I can't test it, but I can see it, you know, I can recognize it, I, I can look by the color, I can see the method, I give you the method, I can see those things when you talk to me and explain it to me, I can say, oh, what went wrong and what is right, and what it tastes like and how you adjust it. That what I do, do that or constantly. This is my card from it. If you're not that good, you can't declare the class because it's really, really difficult. You have to be able to explain it, okay? And you, you will have to be able to show to them for them to really, okay, that is what it's supposed to be. That how it's supposed to learn. And here it is. You see that it's boiling. You're going to let it boil right now. Here, it, oops. Okay, okay. Just overshot the runway by my hand. So, right now you see all the lot of water here. The lot of thing in there, you know, the, the water and all these things. So we're going to test it to make sure the balancing the test that we're looking for is still there. Okay, that's what we intend to do. The test is supposed to be sweet come first and then sour and then salty. Okay? 
do whatever you want, but the tape have to come out that way, okay? Sweet, sour, I got salty, I got this is light on. Let me do it again one more time. Okay, a little bit more salt that they need. Pinching the salt because the salt is almost there but didn't come out. So I will put more salt in there. Now you have you see this is boiling so bad. We're going to do the sim. Okay? Turn all the heat to sim. Don't let it boil like that. Just sim it. So you want the meat to really tender like it. I mean cook it through. Okay? And the salt is going to be there. The salt is really good. And now you're going to kind of cook it down a little bit to get the color because some people they do a lot. This is a lot more water. If they want the color in there, they put the black soy salt in there. But I don't like to do I like to be a little bit of light salt. But what the way I do and I want the color, I do the same. Okay. I'm going to let it stand for a good 10 minutes. And then after that, we're going to check. So the fish should be a little bit more color. Okay. We're going to come back and check it. Okay. Okay, here we are. We are in business. You see the water is going down. See that? And everything start cooking all the herb, keep it up there in some and everything in there cook. See that? This is about where the water going down. See, I don't get so black because I don't put the black soy sauce in there. This is just the sauce that we cook it. Okay? It become darker. And now, if you see the, the water is going down, that's about right. So, let's test it again. It's still true or not true on the sweet, sour, and salty. After everything is cooked. Yeah, it is. And now, we've got more spice because the intent, this is what I like. You know, a lot of them, they do sweet, but not spice. I put the lead chili in there to add the spice, and then this is a, and then another chili in there. I got two different kind of chili. This time I got spicy comfort and sweet, sour and salty. And then you got another spice when you swallow it, and then you can taste the, you know, you taste the pepper, the white pepper. Okay, this is how it done. Bangkok style. I'm going to be sending to you what it looked like. Okay. So we're going to start with the pineapple. Pineapple in there first. So let me still do another pineapple. Okay. Make sure we two pineapple in there. Okay. And now. Another lemon glass in there. Okay, right in the middle. I'm going to put the fish in there. Okay. Two pineapple. Goody. 
Hail Guri. Hail Guri. Hail Guri. Here, Pa Tom Kim. This is the Opera Tom Kim. Okay? This is a fish cooked in the salty sauce. So, what is it in it? In Thai, Pa Tom Kim. But it's really delicious. Okay? Thank you for watching. You can follow me at thaiessence.com or at YouTube at Classical Thai Cooking. This is Chef Pan. Talk to you later. Bye. I'm going to eat. I don't know about you. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this content, this kind of video, please subscribe and hit the bell button. Thank you. You can lead us at thaiessence.com or Facebook at Kunpan or at YouTube Classical Thai Cooking by Chep Pan. See you in the next video. Have fun with Thai cooking. Until then, Kap Kun Kap.